Welcome to Hammerhead Hobbies. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make these simple and easy brushed wood effects just using acrylic paints. All right, welcome back. I'm going to make some wood panel effects and wood grain effects on this sprue piece here. It's just a random piece just to show you uh, that you can make some nice wood effects if you're doing an old World War I uh, plane like an albatross or even a, a diorama with a wood fence or something and just to simulate the wood effects. So I'm going to start off by putting a base coat on this sprue piece here and I'm going to just be brush painting today. I'm not really a brush painter, I'm more of an airbrusher, but I will use uh, a Tamiya base coat it's XF 59 desert yellow okay to begin now what you want to do on a, your pieces is just find a brush that's as big as possible so it evens out the paint a lot nicer so you see how this is a nice size brush to even out the paint and you know a lot of people will prime it I don't have to primer this thing I'm gonna clean it with some isopropyl first and I'm just gonna put a little bit on this cloth and just give it a quick wipe like that and then dry it off just to take any grease or dust or anything other contaminants it might have off there next what I'll do is I'll grab this little paint palette tray I will get my X28 this is a Tamiya thinner and just put a couple drops And then I'll grab my X59 paint with my brush and just take about that much and mix it with the thinner. I just want to mix it with a nice consistency. So now that's mixed and I have plenty on my brush. What I'll do is I'll just nice even strokes. And I don't want it too thick. I've seen a lot of people on the internet where they just do brush painting. A lot of people don't do uh, airbrush painting. And I've seen a lot of their models and they're very thickly painted. Um, and I think that's just due to, you know, trying to put on one big thick coat to cover everything rather than similar to airbrushing, put on many thinner coats rather than one big coat. So this is gonna be my first brush coat. And you can see here, it's covered most of it. So I'm just going to let that dry and come back and give it another second coat. All right, so I've let this dry. I actually cheated a little bit. I've, uh, I've used a, a little bit of a hair dryer or heat gun on it. So I don't have enough paint here. I'm going to put another drop of X20 and sorry, a little more of my base coat color. Mix that in nicely again so it's a little liquidy that is covering a little better I'm gonna probably need another coat uh, for this so I'll cover that up and wait for it to dry again okay so I've uh, hit it again with a heat gun so it can dry a little faster just for this presentation but I will Go ahead and put another coat on here just to even out the colors now you don't have to it is a wood grain uh, pattern so it doesn't have to look perfect and again i'm thinning it out i don't want a big thick coats on the plane or on the whatever i'm painting and you can see here that you know there are nice and thin coats there's no lumping no clumping of the paint you know it's great that everybody wants to see the the finished product so they try to go as fast as possible, putting on thicker coats of paint. Uh, you know, not letting it dry properly like I am right now. Okay, so this is going to be my final coat on this. So you can see how nice and even and not blotchy uh, this became just by taking my time. Uh, four coats, like I said, I, I did dry this with the heat gun or hair dryer again be very careful when you're doing that it could melt the sprue if you have uh, thinner sprue pieces it'll melt them really quickly so you got to be really careful don't again don't rush take your time and uh, you know make sure you do a nice job and when I come back we're going to start on the wood paneling effect 
I said I was going to make some wood paneling. So I do have a panel line right here. Now what I'll do is I'll add a couple more panel lines, just with a pencil. So you can see how they're offset. Now if you wanted to, you could you know, put them in a row, but I wanted to offset them just like they would stagger, kind of like hardwood flooring or something like that. So that's it there. Now I'm going to grab some, this is a red brown by Tamiya acrylic paint. And I said I'm going to do this all with acrylic paint and all with the brushes. And what I'm going to do is just trace out the lines. So this will be the joints of the wood. I right, just want a little darker. Just like that. Okay, so again, it doesn't have to be even. Okay, and then what I'm also going to do is I'm just going to draw in some, just some round knots, just like that. I don't know if you can see that. And you're just starting to get a wood grain kind of effect. And again, paint the lines. And again, these are going to be the lines that are defining the panels, the wood panels. And those are going to be kind of like knots in the wood, just like that. So you can see how it's starting to look like wood already, even without any grains or anything. Okay, so I'll just put this one off to the side. And again, I'll add another drop there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab a smaller square brush here. And this is going to be a little more liquidy than the last time. And you want to do is take some out and very lightly brush it. And then at the joint, you want to brush both directions away from the joint. Just like that. And then on this joint, because we're going, stopping it there, we'll just go the one direction. Okay and just very lightly and you can see that it's giving the graininess to it okay and I'll continue on with the panels and again from so what you want to do is from the joint of the panels you brush outward or inward getting too dark already so I want to lighten it up just like that and we're gonna go the other way the thing is you you don't want to you know go too dark or too light so we're gonna continue on okay this one's a big panel so this one's going to take a lot more paint and I'm going to again dip in some more thing just so it lightens it up and you want to take most of the, the liquid off put thinner in there and lightly go over it and it'll lighten it right up like I said you want to just softly do it so you can see the brush strokes in it and that simulates the wood. You can play around with it, make it lighter, darker, but that right there looks like wood grain, okay, and wood paneling. So if you're doing a nice albatross, or if you're doing a barn or a diorama of some sort where you need to simulate wood, this is a perfect, easy way 
You're only doing with a brush and acrylic paints. You don't have to use oils. Again, you can use a heat gun to dry the paint quickly. I haven't let this dry for more than a minute. I've used the heat gun to dry the paint on top of that. You know, this looks pretty good for a first go at it. And again, I'm not a brush painter. I don't do a lot of wood effects, but I just wanted to show you that anybody can make a realistic looking wood panel. So I hope you found this helpful and I hope you enjoy your builds.